Let me tell you something. We got all kinds of bullshit going on here. This douchebag right here, fucking with little kids in school for 20 years. Other staff members covered it up. One person's been the scapegoat and been fired over it. The new mayor, or the mayor-elect, whatever the hell they call her ass, she ain't said nothing about any of this. During the campaign, none of that. The current mayor, he ain't nowhere to be fucking found. He don't address this. He don't address none of this violence going on. Like the memorial that just got shot up the other day for another kid who was killed on the same street like a week ago. These motherfuckers want the votes and apparently got them, but they ain't doing nothing. Nothing that really matters. Was arrested this morning. He's taught music at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts for more than 20 years. News for Jack's Renee, reporter that is, Renee Beninati, spoke with one of his former students. Renee's joining us live outside DA. Renee. Ken, that student that I talked to graduated from here back in 2012. She tells me that during that time she watched play and interact with students in ways that just made her feel really, really uncomfortable. She tells me she's shocked that he's just now facing charges. Hey, we all. This veteran music teacher at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts is now locked up at the Duval County Jail. Jeffrey Clayton is accused of lewd conduct with a student. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Clayton, and I'm the vocal department chair at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. So Kristen Jones says he was her vocal teacher for four <coughs> years. What was your reaction when you learned that he was arrested? Thank God. <laughs> like, finally. Jones described him as creepy and talked about his behavior in class that she believed was inappropriate. Not every single student, but a lot of them, he would physically put his hands on their stomach, um, on their, in between their breasts to check their breathing properly. His hand would basically go on their cleavage. Clayton's arrest report states the inappropriate activity happened last Friday at the school. Details surrounding exactly what happened were redacted from the report. Duval County Public Schools says Clayton was reassigned for disciplinary reasons in 2013 before being reinstated. Just this like was a year after churches. Jones graduated, Instead but she of says many of her friends still went to Douglas Anderson and said police were investigating claims against the vocal teacher. I thought maybe, oh, one of the girls finally came forward who was actually physically touched and can, you know, do a testimony. You know, and everything was dropped and dismissed. The school's principal sent out a voicemail this morning to parents explaining the charges. They said the future of Clayton's employment will depend on the outcome of this police investigation. In the meantime, he will not return to Douglas Anderson and will not have any contact with students. Tonight, Clayton is being held at the Duval County Jail on more than a $100,000 bond. Reporting live, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station. Now, all these so-called leaders here, not one of these motherfuckers has addressed this. And they ain't the only one. A week after he was arrested, they arrested another younger teacher in St. John's County for the same shit. I mean, what the fuck is going on? And you wonder why these kids don't come to adults and say anything to us. They don't fucking trust us because we go and cover up for the motherfucking adult, or at least y'all do, I don't. I put his ass on blast. I 
I'm still with y'all, man. I'm, I'm trying to look up something. Right, here's another one. Where's this one from? 2020. This heifer here. You see it? These are teachers. Hey, man, what the fuck is going on, man? this 30 second message from gold star jewelry please listen carefully first go look Tonight, a warrant is out for the arrest of a former First Coast High School teacher who has previously been arrested, that accused of having sex with a former student. 32-year-old Christine Denard was due in court this morning to face those charges, but she did not show. That's when a judge announced that there is now a second arrest warrant out for her, unrelated to her current charges. News 4 Jackson reporter Corley Peel joins us live from the Duval County Courthouse with details about this new warrant. Corley. Mary, the newest warrant isn't because she wasn't in court today. It's because Denard's attorney says that she did not have to be here. 32-year-old Christine Denard was a no-show in Duval County Court Thursday. The First Coast High School course director is accused of having sex with a former female student. The judge announced there is a new warrant for her arrest unrelated to her current charges. News for Jack spoke with Denard's attorney, David Robbins, who says Denard's absence from court is All a part of the I'm process. This was part of the process. We didn't know that there was an outstanding warrant. There's an issue about an arraignment as to whether a person has to appear or not. Um, and we indicated to the judge this morning that we're going to file a motion about that. Anyway, you and get the point with that one. Teacher arrested, teacher arrested, teacher accused. That's the motherfucker that's been molesting kids for 20 some years in Florida and nobody, or Jacksonville, Duval County schools. And now, 2023, he finally gets in some trouble. Man, well, there's a teacher of the year right there at one point. Another teacher, another teacher, another teacher. This shit is ridiculous, man. This is about the cover up of the one teacher going on. Nobody is speaking about this shit. Not First Coast News, not Action News Jacks, not News for Jacks. Nobody is speaking on these fucking pedophile teachers in Florida. <clears throat> and you wonder why these kids are so goddamn hateful and won't talk to nobody. And if it ain't that going on, a woman on, is in the hospital right after being shot at a memorial on the city's north side. The woman has non-life-threatening injuries. The memorial was being held for a teen who was shot and killed last week. 
It happened on Effie Street in the Moncrief Park area on the north side. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live now from JSO. Khalil, this is the second shooting on that street in just a couple of days. Just a second one. It is, and one woman says she regrets now moving to that area because of those shootings. And she says she's wondering why would someone go to an area where loved ones are gathering and interrupt what they had going on. Sunday afternoon, officers were busy taking pictures of shell casings near these evidence markers. They were also collecting other evidence and talking to this group of people. That's because around 3.30 this afternoon, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says there was a shooting on Effie Street. One woman was shot in her arm. She was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified sent this photo to News for Jax of the woman who was wounded. People were gathering on this street to honor a 16-year-old who was shot and killed last week. His shooting also happened on Effie Street and also involved a man and boy being wounded. News for Jack spoke with a family member of this 16-year-old teen, and they say they saw a suspicious car circling the block, and then shots were fired. It was a break, and there was shots, and there was a break, and then it started shooting again. News for Jack spoke with a neighbor who lives just doors from where the shooting happened. When the gunfire erupted, she hit the ground and then called 911. She says she just moved into the neighborhood and having two shootings just days apart is scary. She says she can't believe someone would shoot up a memorial and now regrets moving to the area. But she does say she's glad more people weren't injured. I was more concerned because there was a lot of people out there um, in the yard doing a memorial service. And the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they are still looking for those involved, and they are looking for a white vehicle. If you have any information, you are asked to call JSO or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Quill Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. Yes. You see anything in there where it says mayor addresses pedophile teachers or... I saw a vehicle he's driving the down from the headlights on, on, so we need right to now. or any of that? Hell no. This is the type of shit that the mayor is worried about right here. Street racing. Nobody give a fuck about that goddamn street racing when there's kids out here getting fucking molested and shot and killed and all that. We got to worry about the wrong shit. show you what these so-called leaders of ours look like. You see that? It says he's a Republican, but he's really lying to his constituents because Two times since his last election, he went out in the middle of the night and took down two statues so his constituents didn't raise hell with him. Now, I don't give a fuck whether they take him down or not. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I'm just saying how he says one thing and does another. That's his soft ass right there, this white boy. He ain't worth the fuck. And then, then we 
got the original thought. He's coming in. He's ran for mayor numerous times for Duval County. And she doesn't live in Duval County. So how in the fuck can she be a mayor somewhere she don't live? She lives out there where all the football players live and out by Queens Harbor and Neptune Beach and all that where there ain't really no crime. It's big money out there. But she gonna live out there and know what Duval County needs. Man, come on, man. And she got political fam, you know, political connections with her family all through the local politics and shit, and it took her, oh, no bullshit, about five or six times of running for mayor before she actually got it. This is her right here. The only thing she ran on was defunding the police. After what I just showed you with the molestations and the shootings, do we really need to defund them? And not to mention, <clears throat> back in the day her the weatherman and her husband all worked at the same news station she decided to go fuck the drunk weatherman who's been arrested uh, I think multiple times for DUI and then ended up leaving her husband for the weatherman and this shit played out on the local news. And people think she's just some type of stand-up person. She meant that's really where she made her name. She does a little cancer run thing here every year too. And she survived breast cancer at least once, I think. And you know, respect to her for that. But uh, that ain't got shit to do with your politics and what you're going to do for this uh, city. This shit is ridiculous, man. I just had to let y'all know that what's going on.